As a result of recent cyber incidents, we are seeing a trend towards organisations being a lot more uh, aware and careful about the um, personal information that they're holding and uh, the governance around how long they're holding it for and for what reason uh, it's being held and being a lot uh, more careful around the controls uh, to ensure that information is only being held uh, for as long as it needs to be and in the format um, uh, that presents uh, the lowest risk. Uh, trends uh, in, the, in, in my agency are around making sure that we are prioritising those projects that are, uh, are reducing our privacy risk as much as possible um, and associated with that our, our cyber security risk, making sure that we are putting an equal weight on projects that we might do to enhance uh, uh, products and services, but also making sure that uh, internal projects to, to de-risk our uh, privacy and cyber operations are also uh, at the table. So we're aiming to uh, ensure that we are best practice in government uh, and that we have a low, uh, low risk operation when uh, cyber is concerned in line with our customers and stakeholders' expectations. Collaboration is really important uh, to protecting uh, cyber security in New South Wales. Uh, collaboration between organisations and between functions within organisations is really important. Um, it doesn't come easily, you need to work at it, uh, but it's so important for cyber security teams to collaborate uh, across the board to reduce their risk. By attending the showcase, I take away um, a great amount of confidence that we have skilled practitioners who are learning from one another, um, addressing some of the big questions and making sure that, uh, you know, links are strong and collaboration is happening. Come along next year, uh, meet peers and colleagues, uh, new and old, and um, make, sure, make sure you're exposing yourself to the best possible um, ideas in, in cybersecurity.